Hello everyone. Today I uh, talk about the worksheet of the chapter one, the variation, genetics, and heredities. This worksheet will talk about these sex linkage and egg link uh, genes. Okay, the genes is the one that is located. On one or uh, other sex chromosomes okay one here may be a chromosomes a chromosomes but sometimes here the other sex chromosome here be Y chromosomes but in our talk here we will talk about mainly in the X chromosomes okay so we can call this one as a X uh, the sex link Okay, so they use the different pat gene patterns to the autosomes. The autosome here use large A and large A cross with a small A, small A to get a large A, small A, large A, small A, and large A, small A, and large A, small A, as I mentioned in the lecture. So the the egg link gene here we use different pattern, and we have two pattern depend on the chromosome they locate. Here it is X chromosomes. If it is in the X chromosome, we will call X link or X linkage. But if it is in the Y, we will call Y linkage. But this sheet will talk about X linkage. Okay. The X linkage here, yeah, uh, we mention it because the X chromosome is much larger than the Y chromosomes. The size. Yeah. It's Y chromosome. And this one is a chromosome. Okay, and most uh sex link gene here will be located in the a chromosome, and the a chromosome here does not carry only in females, but it's also carry non sexual characteristics. Okay, for example, the night blindness here, or tabasi. This one here, they cannot separate the uh, brightness of the of the light during the night time. Okay, oh, this one getting it's not night. It's supposed to be color blindness. Okay, and the hemophilia. The hemophilia is condition that the blood here cannot coagulate. Because you lack of blood clotting factor. Okay. And the expression pattern in the male, we use B to represent blindness. Okay. The blindness. Okay. X uh B X slash BY represent not the normal the normal uh eye condition but it uh large b and x large b also show the normal condition and the x large b x small b represent the carrier normal but carry the the uh the disease gene Okay, and X uh, small b y represent disease set. And X small b and X small b also represent disease Okay, and the recessive allele here we express only more often, more often in males than the female because male here carry only one alleles. Okay, they have one allele and one allele to get diseases for. For example, uh, this one. Okay, so they have two conditions. But in uh, for the females, they have three conditions. Okay. Okay, and next one here, uh, it will be the reciprocal cross of the Drosophila. Uh, we have two forms of Drosophila. The first form of the Drosophila 
represent here is uh, the one that have red eye and the one that have white eye. It's a fruit, fruit fry. Okay, the the South Villa Melano Gaster. This one has contained red eye gene. And this one is white eye gene. Red eye. And white eye. This cross will show you the relationship between the uh, red eye and the white eye. Okay, the first cross, cross A here, start from the parent that um, the female will contain the red eye, but the male will contain the white eye conditions like this. Okay, so the gene they contain, it is X large R and X large R. And for the white one here, they represent X more R than Y. And after that, they separate the gene, right? To this one and to this one, and to this one and to this one. And after that, you make a table. Okay, this one, go to this one, and go to this one. This one, go to here, and to here. And after you combine them together to get this. Okay, so you get ratio here, A large R and, A, and X small R. You can get red I females. Okay, this is also red I female, red I female, and red I female. All of them contain red I females. And after that, in the F2, they cross between uh, red I females to the red I males. Okay, so we start to cross here red eye females to the red eye males. So the red eye male here pick up from a table. This one, go to this one. And here, for the red eye male, oh sorry, this one, red eye male. And red eye female, supposed to be this one. Go to here. And after that, they separate the genes. The genes you see here, X large I, X small R. Separate to the X large R and X small R. In case of male, X large R and Y. And you put X large R in here and here. And this one to here, this one to here. And combine them together. Okay, you can get X large R and X large R. And they contain the red I female, okay, this case, and the red I male, this case. Okay, so you find out the ratio at the end of the F2. You will get two red I female. But one red eye male, but one white eye male, like this. But you work by reciprocal, I mean you switch this group to this group, okay, change them like this. So you need to determine the gamete. Okay, you can get it a large uh, small r's and x small r, and this one will be a large r, then y, and then y. And now that you put inside the table. And you work by yourself to complete this. This is will be your worksheet of this chapter. Okay, you run until you get the phenotype here. Find out the ratio here. They show the same, uh, the same ratio or not? Okay, and tell me why. Okay, and tell me why. This cut here, you can write below here. This worksheet worth uh, five point from a hundred, okay. And after that, next part we will talk about the disease we call hemophilia, represent in the uh, pedigree. Okay, the hemophilia here is a condition in your body that the blood here does not get clot normally. Blood does not get clot normally, and the result here show that they have excessive bleeding. Okay inside the body and outside even outside the body so it's quite dangerous okay so, so then this caused by the lacking of blood clotting factor okay it's a complex chain reaction of many steps they contain many steps from a to b to c to d many steps okay at the end here c d and here at the end they show blood clotting process and this blood clotting process here, if you like or be like this, they cannot make a blood clotting, so they have breathing. Okay, you can have him and the name of this disease we call hemophilia A. They were like a blood clotting factor number, this number, we call AHT. Okay, and you can treat it by inject this factor into your body, so they let the blood become clot. 
Okay, so the hemophilia A here caused by cycling characters. Okay, and the heterozygous female or carrier here, they are carrier, so they carry the genes to their young. Okay, and it's quite harmful, recessive allele. So they can represent the relationship of the hemophilia patient in one family by using pedigree. So the pedigree here will be the chart or a diagram show the histories of the families. Okay, for example, how this pedigree of the Queen Victoria's families in short, in contact. You will see that the unshaped circle yeah, represent normal females and the shaped circles. Okay, the shaped circles. This one represents normal or shaped square, sorry. Unshaped square will be normal male. The shaped circle will be diseased female. And shaped square will be the diseased male. Okay. And the horizontal line here joining between male and female. This one represents marriage. Okay, like this. To show linking like this. The marriage. And the vertical line that run down from parents. Here they will link to the offspring like this. Offspring. Oh sorry. Linking like this to this and separate to the young. Like this. Okay. And sometimes you can have sex limit sex limited uh characters. The sex limited character here can represent only in one and other sexes. Even they have uh they carry the gene in the same pattern, but they represent the different uh, characters. For example, the, the hemophilia here, the male seems to be to have more chance to show diseased form. And the sex limited one here will be include lactation that limit just only in the females. And the facial hair here limit just only in male. And the sex limited here caused by the hormones, the levels of the hormone in the body. Okay, depend on the hormone. Thank you.